Time now for NTV's first alert weather forecast. Well, welcome back here on your Thursday morning. If you want to be outdoors today, well, the good news is temps are going to be very seasonable. The bad news is it's going to be windy. It's going to be about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. Showers this morning and then this afternoon, very slight chance of some pop up showers. But again, temps are actually going to be where they're supposed to be this time of year. It's just that's going to be windy and that's obviously going to make it feel uh, quite a bit cooler. But over the next several days, we're going to see a change in our overall weather pattern. We will start to be influenced more by the northern part of the jet stream. What that means is cooler air settling in. I think Saturday looks kind of chilly, very windy. And then I think Tuesday of next week looks very chilly as well. Now, the main storm systems, they pass us by. So we are going to be talking about more kind of scattered rain chances up until about Tuesday of next week when the, uh, one of those more powerful storm systems will impact the region. So, you know, you'll see on your seven day forecast a lot of rain chances, but, you know, say Friday night, for instance, it's going to be a lot like this where it's scattered, but it also could be a little more organized thunderstorm activity. But here's what you'll face as you're heading out the door this morning. Some rain in Kearney moving towards Columbus, uh, up around Greeley and Orange. You see some lingering showers, not a lot of rainfall out of them, but a little damp out there. Temps this afternoon. Now we'll just see a steady climb. Eventually upper 60s, some of you around 70 degrees, which is average. The problem is it's the winds north 15 to 25. Now I think this particular model might actually be underdoing it. I wouldn't be shocked at gusts of over 30 uh, for much of the late morning, early afternoon hours. So once the showers end, it's going to be windy, uh, but seasonal. Now here are those little pop up showers that I mentioned. You know, again, we had these a few weeks ago that we get these little convective showers that kind of develop. Once the sun goes down, they fall apart. Tonight looks cool, pretty quiet. Maybe a rogue shower in the north tonight. And then tomorrow, actually pretty pleasant. I think we're back in the upper 60s where we should be. But notice out west, by tomorrow night, scattered storms moving through. And overnight Friday into Saturday, especially the northern half of the state, uh, we'll see at least a decent shot of some scattered thunderstorm activity. 68 the high today. A little shower activity, especially this morning. 40 tonight and tomorrow back up to 67. Not a bad end of the week. And again, those storm chances are mainly tomorrow night in a very early Saturday morning. So across the state, northern Kansas, we're going to be looking at highs upper 60s today, maybe around 70, especially down south. But then after tomorrow, we trend into a much cooler weather pattern. And I mean way below average. Average high for the Tri-Cities is about 66 to 67. After tomorrow, we won't be even close to that, um, especially there Tuesday. And it will not be out of the question that parts of the Cornhusker State, north northwest areas, see some of the dreaded S word on Tuesday. That will not be out of the question as the system rolls in. I'm a little suspicious. We talked about this last hour. You seem to come back when the snow is predicted. So I don't know if you're just that good a meteorologist that you just Does it cause pick an those effect, days though? off. Or your That'd sheer aura just brings It'd be something. It <laughs> It'd be something if I'm putting in time off two months in advance knowing that. I know. We're going to have to <laughs> track this. We'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks, Tim.